All right, all right, family, black power. Black power is the true power. With General Sarasu said he kicked back, get your mind ready for some information that's guaranteed to be happy. That's right. Uh, this Sunday, October 16th, the day is the day. The 12 deadly diseases are negative. Don't you dare miss it. One of the rawest and most powerful lectures that you'll ever see. Have your behind in class this Sunday. You know, even if you have to come home and take off your, your Sunday best and sit on down, you understand what I'm saying? And get this lesson, okay? Starting at 2.30 p.m. The link is right there in the video description. It's also in the chat box. Click that link and begin to think. That's right, Rene and Long Team SETI .com online marketplace, official General Sara Soon SETI DVDs, t shirts, and hoodies. And at this time, we got 15% off. We got a lot of new products, and what a, a beautiful time to go on over there, get you some new products, you feel me, and get you a discount. We got them classic DVD, classic and Jurassic DVD lectures, t shirts, and hoodies. Got some new. Uh, hoodies and shirts up there. Go on and check it out. You know you're going to love it, especially if you're revolutionary. African and comedic jewelry for the family. Got some new pieces, hard pieces for the royalty out there. Holistic tonics and remedies. We're going to stock up on a lot of new uh, holistic tonics for the family during this, this fall and this uh, winter season because you're going to need it. You feel me? We also got home decor African accessories for the kitchen, living room, and dining room. Check us out, kingseti.com. That's right. Class is in session, family. Generalseti.com, SETI University. Over 800 video uh, presentations and lectures. Too raw for YouTube. SETI with the master teachers. Uh, when Kemet ruled the earth. Old Mac Voyages of the Nile. Black woman is God from Naga to Nigga. A co-science debate. All world religions, video and radio interviews, highlights from over 50 cities, ancient civilization and mythology, black power, politics and economics. That gas, that global African supremacy. The complete General Saw Rasul SETI website, goddammit, GeneralSETI.com. Have your ass in class, join the same family. And of course, General, General SETI, keep it popping on Patreon. Pull the fire alarm. God damn it, we keep it popping on Patreon. That's right, exclusive live streams, too hot to handle on YouTube, too hot to handle any any goddamn way. You understand what I'm saying? But we got to we got to blow up somewhere. You feel me? So Patreon, pull the fucking fire along. That's right. We just dropped hip hop should declare a state of emergency for the epidemic murders of rap artists. Uh, why do Europeans celebrate their most sacred holiday in the day of the winter? Are African people still possessed by the spirits of they, uh, their slave masters? And we know the answer to that. And so, you know, tomorrow we'll drop a you know, boatload of new uh, uh, hot, you know, live stream dropping on Patreon. You better join up now because you better not miss it. That's right. And make sure you subscribe to all my YouTube channels. That's right. General SETI, King SETI, Sarasu SETI, rock that notification bell, get a video, a thumbs up, like it because you love it. You see what I'm sharing with your family and friends and comment. That's right. Tell me how you feel. Just don't say nothing I don't like because I will ban your ass. Okay? All right. Wow, family. You know, I'm just, you know, Keeping up with this uh this uh court case with old Alex Jones. I think he didn't he he didn't crash off the goddamn cliff this time. You know what I'm saying? Uh he didn't, you know, he didn't he went so far, you know, to say that, you know, the children and uh what was that? Let me get this information up here. Get this information up there. Get it up there. 
Yeah, let me get him on up here. Yeah, he 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 didn't he he and they didn't order this man to pay a billion fucking dollars. I say, God damn. I mean, what the fuck? That's some shit you put on two, three nations. You know what I'm saying? God damn. You see, Alex Jones ordered to pay one billion dollars in defamation lawsuit. And so looking right here, that was uh Sandy, Sandy Hook. Sandy fucking hook. You know, where uh you know the children was uh they was murdered, they were shot down. You see what I'm saying, you know, by this crazy lunatic. And you know what? You know, I you know, some of this shit, you know, and I'm not no fan of Alex Jones. I'm not no fan of no of no white man. No, you know, but the one thing Carl had always taught us. If you see two, if you see two Cro Magnum Neanderthal arguing, you see what I'm saying? Then you pay very close attention. You see what I'm saying? You you pay very close attention. And so you know, you know, I, I you know, I listen to you know Alex Jones for the sake of you know some you know to see you know what type of information that they throwing out there you know i've never used any you know because I, I i'm not from that caste system i'm i'm black power you know what i'm saying and so i'm far behind beyond anything that he's talking about anyway you see what i'm saying and you know i remember when he was you know he was talking about you know them children you know and you know i knew them I say, you know what? You didn't went too far. You know, you didn't went too far. Cause I, I I noticed at that time, you know, everybody was coming up, you know, you got Christ. And listen to me. It's not like I don't believe that they, you know, they will, you know what I'm saying, it, you know, is you know, pull off a false flag. We're not that stupid. We know that this, you know, the government and all these elite motherfuckers, you know, they've been, you know, popping off false flags and shit. You see what I'm saying? You know, you know, and so, you know, that's not beyond me, you know, to believe. I know it to be true. You know what I'm saying? But you know, you 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 got to be, you know, when it comes to, you know, motherfuckers being murdered and shit, you know, I would see motherfuckers talking about it's a false flag and shit, this, that, and the third, or or that it didn't happen and shit. And for me, it was like almost like, well, goddamn, man, it looked like it's about, you know, 10, 20,000 motherfuckers out here, man. You know what I'm saying? How can they pull that shit off? You know what I'm saying? You know, how could they pull that shit off? You know, without, you know, somebody, you know, coming forth and saying, you know, we was there and shit and that, you know, we didn't see it either. You know what I'm saying? It, it, it's not like you in a fucking studio by you and you got a motherfucking camera and you, you know, it'd be one thing and you staging this shit inside of a studio. You see what I'm saying? You know, the, you know, and, and what, and listen to me. I'm not siding with nobody, you see, and I'm not, you know, saying that, you know, because people can, you know, I believe, you know, but we have to also deal with the fact that what about our defamation? You see, what about our defamation? You know, if we're going to start, you know, you know, convicting motherfuckers of defamation, then the United States as an institution, goddamn it, should have been convicted long time ago. You know how they didn't defame African people and all the wicked shit that they didn't said about African people, you know, very, very derogatory. You know what I'm saying? You, you know, and you know, shit, 
that could crush the souls of a people. You know what I'm saying? Or how we was, you know, cannibals and you know how we lazy, how we ignorant that we we can't even, you know, develop past the state of a goddamn, you know, infant and shit. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, and the shit's still in the books. You know what I'm saying? And they they, you know, with they slithering asses, you know, have recreated the shit in a way where they could, you know, pass it off as science. You see what I'm saying, you know, and you know, and motherfuckers don't even see it. And I say, well, damn, can't y'all see that? Even when they do the evolutionary shit, you know what I'm saying? They they show, you know, you know, you know, they show you about seven, eight stages of development. All of the, you know, you get you get and out of the eight stages of development, the first seven, you know, they look like dark skinned monkeys and shit. And then it get to the end where you got the Cro Magnum Neanderthal. And that's, you know, the complete evolution where you, you know, you've come to, you know, the the pinnacle. You know, you know, and the Cro Mag with the Cro Magnum Neanderthal being the com the pinnacle of evolution. And so, you know what I'm saying? And then you wondering, like, you know what I'm saying? Well, how in the hell, you know, did it jump from, you know, even, you know, because it is garbage, it's racist garbage, you know, vile, vile, filthy garbage that come through the, from the mind of a foul, filthy motherfucker. You see what I'm saying? And you looking, and you see the monkeys and shit, and then it jumped straight to the Cro Cro Magnum Neanderthal and you wonder, well shit, shouldn't the black, you know, even in that, you know, and I'm not trying to put our people in there because I'm laughing. I say, well fuck it, where's the where's the modern black man shit? Cause they all got melanin and shit and you know, and then you know, where's the modern black man? It jumped from all these monkeys and shit, dark skin, and then it go to the Cro Magnum Neanderthal. And I had to, you know, after figuring this shit, I, I, you know, I came to the conclusion that they was looking, they was considering the seventh monkey, the modern black man. I say, well, what the fuck, you know? And they put this shit out here subliminally. You see what I'm saying? But it takes the conscious African mind to break that shit down and show you that. You know, all that three fifths of a man and shit and all that is still here. They still defaming us. Right now today. Right fucking now today. And, you know, they cry and shit. And, you know what I'm saying? And as soon as somebody get on their fucking head, you know, they want to cry and shit. You know what I'm saying? And this, that. And we already know, family. We already know. That just, you know, we just using. A, a model just to show, you know, we know who the Cro Magnum Neanderthal is, and so we just, you know, we 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 walking this shit down for the sake of and proving that they have been defaming us, you know what I'm saying, with a will, a, a, a wicked, filthy, you know what I'm saying, the uh, defamation of character. You understand what I'm saying of African people from day one. You see what I'm saying? And they continue, you understand, just like they, you know, and I ain't getting no, I ain't getting in on that shit. You know what I'm saying? I was going to bring, but I'm not even bringing that shit up. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, because there's a lot of racism and shit and some of that shit, you know, it, it, you know, I, 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 I sidestep it. You know what I'm saying? Because it ain't worth my time to bring it up. But, you know, uh, you know, and when when I speak of defamation, when we talk about what's going on, you know, with Kanye, you know, with his, you know, his mentally ill ass, and, you know, I say that, you know, because it, it it is real. You know what I'm saying? And I, like I say, you know, I got a couple, you know, I got a crazy uncle and shit. You know what I'm saying? And I love him. He ain't like Kanye. He ain't fucking with no white women. He just crazy and shit. You know what I'm saying? And this nigga would come over and, you know, and we love him. You know, we know somebody when, you know, 
my, you know, this was my uncle, you know, he wasn't the same age as me, but he was still, you know, he might have been like, I say he might have been about four, five years older than me. You see what I'm saying? And I remember when I was young, he was, I remember him when he was in his right mind. You see what I'm saying? I remember one time, you know what I'm saying? He had a friend down the street and shit, and he had a little nephew and shit or whatever. And, you know, and these niggas, this is when you had to be a real nigga. You see what I'm saying? When I was coming up, nigga, you had to be able to throw them things, nigga, to get your ass whooped. Because it was, you know what I'm saying? When I was growing up in the 80s, you know, a lot of these cities was still full of black people. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, everybody hadn't got locked up yet. You know what I'm saying? By the time the 90s and shit, you know what I'm saying? The end, you know, the end of the 90s, if a motherfucker wasn't dead, they was in jail, but shit. You know, for a long time, these cities still had a lot of black people in them. You feel what I'm saying? And so, shit, nigga, when you go to school, man, it's just, I mean, in Detroit, man, it was just niggas for days. You know what I'm saying? You look in, in, in high schools, you know what I'm saying? 2,000 motherfuckers in it and shit. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, you had to be able to get busy and shit. And I remember my, my uncle and shit. And, you know, he, he came and got, I didn't know what the fuck he was coming to get me for. You know what I'm saying? And I see him talking to his nigga, and yeah, they already batting and shit. And I'm thinking to myself, man, what the fuck is this nigga then got me into? You know what I'm saying? So, you know, they was like, lock up, and you know what I'm saying? I scrapped the nigga up. But, you know, I didn't appreciate him, you know, throwing me off in there. But I, you know what? That's that right surpassing that I was talking about, you know what I'm saying? Where, you know, the old, and, and, and that's a part of it too. You see what I'm saying? Where the older cats put your ass in, you know, and, and ain't nobody gonna fight to the death, but nigga, yo, you know what I'm saying? It's on the line, nigga. Either you gonna show up and everybody out here, nigga, you don't wanna be embarrassed. And so nigga, it's time to do what you gotta do. And so I remember my uncle when he was in his right mind. And then I remember and shit, man, it was calls coming in and shit. You know what I'm saying? It was calls coming in like, damn, you know, you know, the nigga ain't right. And I'm thinking to myself, like, well, shit, you know, you know, maybe he, you know, he'll, you know, he'll sleep, you know, it'll wear off. You know what I'm saying? This is what I'm thinking. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? It never, it, it never wear, you know, it never wore off. You know what I'm saying? And shit, you know, back then, them niggas was popping them down, whatever it is, them goddamn LSDs and shit and all that shit. And so I believe, you know, that's the type of shit that tripped him and shit. You know what I mean? And then, so once he went on the other side, we loved him and shit, but he would always be talking crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, nigga come in the house and shit. Yeah, nigga, Jesus owe me a billion dollars and shit. Yeah, I'm going I'm to get my money from this nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, man, he'll be dead serious, man. And we'll be in there wrong because he'll keep coming up with crazy ass stories and shit. And, you know, we be in there, you know, nigga, you know, and laughing like a motherfucker and shit. Sometimes, man, the old dude, he'll be like, man, fuck this, man. Take your ass on up out of here. We don't want to hear this shit today. But when I look at Kanye, you know what I'm saying? I can tell, like, and I believe he's mentioning shit where they was giving him shit. You know what I'm saying? I haven't heard... You know, you know, but, you know, it, it's real. And I don't say that about the black man, you know, even though he didn't, his, 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 his ghetto past is revolt. A lot of you niggas love him and shit. I, you know, once you step over that line like that, nigga, you know what I'm saying? And, and you, and you take a, a, a stance like you continuing to take, nigga, you, you're not in, re, you're not in, in repent. You're not going to repent. You're not, you know what I'm saying? And so, nigga, you, it, it is what it is. You see what I'm saying? And, you know, I, but I still, you know, I just, his, his, his demise will be in his, in his own hands because that's what's going to happen. 
You know what I'm saying? But the fact that this Jewish community is upset that, you know, he said what he said, you know, that he going to go death con on the Jews and shit. And they see this shit as, you know, and, I, and, and that's lightweight. That's lightweight. He going to go death. Man, I say, you know, do y'all understand that? I, I just brought it up the other day where the fucking chief rabbi or the Sephardic Jews in Israel, this motherfucker be openly, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, he be openly, uh, openly called black people monkeys and shit, you know, openly calling black people monkeys and, you know, and he's still in his position, you know? He's still in his position. Ain't nobody saying shit to him, you know, about what, about what he, you know, nobody's, you know, asked him to step down, you know, nobody's asked him to step down. He's, he's calling, he didn't call black people monkeys, and that's not the only time he didn't say something racist, you see, but you don't hear that shit in the media. You don't hear that shit in the media. At all. They don't bring up the racist shit that they bring up, you know, that they speak out of their mouth that is truly vile you, and filthy. And the thing about it that when they, when, you know, when, uh, when his, uh, what's that, his, his, what they call that? Where they speak for the, you know, hang on, what is they call that? I don't know. They officially speak out. It was his office. You see, it was his office that spoke out for him. You know, and they said the what he said uh, come right out of the Talmud, which is their sacred book. So you know, when you start talking to, and you bring up these facts of you know how what they think about black people, and, you know what they think about black people. You see what I'm saying? And, and it's written in they they sacred books, and how many of they top scholars, you know what I'm saying, uh, have spoken also these same vile words, and it's written in books, you know, in the in they top books. Then you know what we talking about is far more vile and filthy than anything that. You know, and that ain't even, you know, really racist. You know, to me, if a motherfucker say it's on, it's on. If y'all throwing blows and then he want to throw some blows and he say he about to, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. You know, it is what it is. You know, the thing is, see, a lot of these people in power, they can do shit to black people because they got a more advanced mechanism, you know, to be able to, you know, attack us, to attack us. They can attack us in ways that can't be seen, you know, visually. You know, you, behind the scenes shit, they can hit us and attack us, you know. And so this is the way that they, and so they can hide, they can throw rocks in, and hide their hands and say they don't know who threw them, you see. And so this is what we, so if we was talking about defamation of character, is no, it, you know, the town move, we should be able to bring that shit out and black people should be able to burn that shit, should be able to set that shit on fire, set that shit on fire for what it's saying about black people. You know, call it, you know, when they say black people is soulless, don't even possess a soul, you know? And I was just looking at, I looked it up, you know, ahead of time to be able, and where they say, you know, based on what God said in the Torah, you know, that we were slaves, they say it's illegal for a Jew to release a black person from servitude. It's illegal that you should hold <laughs> That African is in bondage for eternity. It's illegal for you to set a, set a nigga free. 
okay? And I want y'all to know that. In their sacred books, and they got enough nerve to come out, and because, you know, they hold in conversation about it not amongst Jewish community. You know, they, they, they know that people didn't crept off in them books. Now, it used to be where, you know, they, they could keep a lot of that shit hidden. You know, they could keep a lot of that shit, but it, it, it has gotten out at this point. You know, it has gotten out. And, you know, as, and, and the fact that so many of their top rabbis have also quoted these very words and, 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 not, and referenced it in, in so much other material, you can't even run from the shit. You know what I'm saying? This is how you, this is how you feel about our people. And so, you know, you, you know, you got all these, you know, all those character, you know, characters down through the 40s and 50s where they got black people looking like cannibals and shit, you know, Sambo and shit, you know. And then, you know, you see the Japanese, they done picked up on the Sambo thing where they now, you know, that's like one of the number one fucking characters in Japan is Sambo. They got these Sambo characters. That's defamation. You see? And so, you know, I don't take up for nothing that Alex Jones has said at all. One billion dollars. God damn. You know, that that just, you know, you know, that shit is is like mind boggling that they now dropping that kind of shit on people, you know, billions of dollars for, you know, I, me, myself, I knew the shit was over, over the top when, and that's not the first time, uh, you know, I heard some crazy shit from Alex John. It's not, you know, so, you know, if he got some references where you can research some of the shit that he talking about, that's one thing. But when I heard him speak on them kids, I already knew. I say, man, he gonna, they're going to get on his ass about that. You know, that was when I first heard it. You know, that was, you know, uh, that's when I first heard it. I say, damn, you know, you're going to go that far? You know, I'm, I'm thinking to myself, how is it that, I mean, you can, you got this shit on TV and you mean to tell me? You know, you got that community around that high school. You got that community around that high school. If it was a false flag, man, you know, you, you know, that community would easily say, well, you know, we got kids to go to that motherfucker. You know, and, and we, we, you know, we didn't see no shit like that. So unless you gonna create a school and you putting it where well, you 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 know it got to be placed inside of a city where motherfuckers living. You can't create some shit inside of a goddamn Hollywood set and say, okay, you know this was a false flag and that you know and you know in that kind of manner, you know. And so when he said that shit, you know, he's a cons you know, and like I say, I can't say that every fucking thing. He say is conspiratorial. A lot of it is conspiratorial. You know, a lot of the shit. You know, he he got some reference references for too, just like any other news. You know, they got a lot of bullshit, a lot of conspiracy, a lot of made up shit. And the only thing you could do is, you know, get some facts and go behind their ass to prove whether it is whether it is or isn't true. You should never accept nothing from face value from none of these cro magnum Neanderthals because they all liars. You understand? You have to treat it that way. And in that way, you it makes you do the research. It makes you go behind they ass and get the facts for yourself. You must be the researcher and you must research the researchers, you must demand that they put the fucking evidence on the table and so that you can weed through this shit and decide for yourself whether it's the truth. But I tell you what, 
if they it, it shows you that the thing that you say today you know they have the power to say whether it is the truth or it or if it's false you know they have the power you know to say and so you most definitely when you come you got to come hard body you can't be coming on no frivolous shit you can't be opening up your fucking mouth and, you know, on some frivolous shit, letting anything come out your fucking mouth. You know what I'm saying? I believe, you know, some of these motherfuckers out here in the in the conscious com community, you know, should, you know, is, is up for some defamation. You know, I do believe that. You know, saying that our ancestors was not, you know, there was no African Holocaust and, and you know what I'm saying? For you know, you know, some silly minded motherfuckers believe that. But for us, you know, who know better and stand on the square of our African ancestors and the Ma'afa and, and, and you know, trying to vindicate the Africans that died in the Ma'afa, died in the Atlantic slave trade, you know, for us. That's straight up, you you defiling our ancestors. That's exactly what the fuck you're doing. You're defiling our ancestors, and we don't give a fuck what you say, nigga. We don't give a fuck what you talking about. Nigga, we didn't see that garbage, nigga, and we don't give a fuck what you talking about, nigga. You defiling, nigga. That's our verdict on your ass. You can go on over there. But see, the thing is, we ain't saying shit about you, bitch ass nigga. We ain't, we ain't looking for you. We ain't even looking for y'all motherfuckers. Man, we had the scholars and, you know, we got top notch scholars and they ain't even mentioning you motherfuckers. You don't even fucking exist in any of the scholarship of our great master teachers. You see what I'm saying? So we ain't got shit to say about you niggas. We don't even know who the fuck y'all is. Y'all niggas just appear out of anywhere, anywhere, attacking our ancestors, attacking the, the murderous, uh, you know what I'm saying, uh, institution of slavery that went on for 400 years. And if we allow you niggas to, you know, you know, uh, bring forth false information as y'all doing to, you know, what? Validate what the European? What is the fuck is you doing? I don't know. You know what I'm saying? But standing on what you know what has happened to our ancestors is no way that we cannot. You know what I'm saying? Come forth. You know with the sword. You know what I'm saying? To vindicate these liars, these sport tongue liars that's out here. You know defiling. You know the 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 character and you know the the vile conditions that our ancestors went through. You understand what I'm saying? And so you know there's some defamation there. You know what I'm saying? So when we start talking about it's a whole lot of defaming that's been going on. It's a whole lot of defaming that's been going on. And so the thing is, if we're gonna start, you know, you know, slapping motherfucking dollar signs on some shit. You know what I'm saying? Most definitely, not not even just for you know uh, when the motherfuckers start about talking about uh, reparations. You know what I'm saying? You know, talking about reparations, we we got to also bring for them defamation lawsuits on these chromatic and these niggas. We cannot leave them out neither. You know what I'm saying? We need to start slapping defamation. Uh, uh, you know, uh, lawsuits on these niggas that keep exploiting our ancestors on some frivolous bullshit, some stunts that they trying to pull off. You see what I'm saying? There's no, there's no reason for you have to, you know what I'm saying, to, uh, you know, crutch on our ancestors to pull off some weak shit that y'all trying to, you know, fool the people. You understand it? So you got to crutch on the, the, uh, the Ma'afa, you got the crunch, you got the crutch on, you know, the Holocaust of our ancestors just to pull off your frivolous attempt to fool motherfuckers. You understand? Into some bullshit. Stand on your own, motherfucker. 
You know, just show your ancestors uh, works. Show their literature. Show their motherfucking great civilization that should stand on its own. Y'all motherfuckers have not done that. You understand? It's not like, you know, the ancient civilizations of Africa where they left so much that they don't need, you know, to, you know, to just crutch on anybody. They, their history stands on its own and don't need to crutch on shit else. It stands on its own. It's its own legacy. So, family, I'm about to get on over here with, to this, you know, to this next video. I got to get on these Hebrews tonight. But, you know, it, that was a heavy, heavy blow. They landed uh, Alex Jones and shit. And uh, he's saying that that don't, you know, he still say he gonna rise to the top. That's what he say. That's what he say. That's what he say. He say he gonna appeal. And he say, God damn it, he gonna win the appeal. That's what he said. And, you know, I don't know where that shit going and I don't care. But I tell you what, that motherfucking billion dollars, motherfucker, you gonna have to sell a lot of goddamn DVDs and motherfucking uh, and some vitamins, whatever that motherfucker selling over there, he gonna have to sell a whole lot of that shit. They gonna be, his, his motherfucking uh, descendants gonna be selling DVDs for the next hundred, <laughs> Next hundred generations, they pay that shit off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, his motherfucker gonna be selling DVDs for the next hundred generations. <laughs> A billion motherfucking dollars. I mean, goddamn, you know what I'm saying? I know, he try, I watch him boy. He trying to, you know, he, he trying to keep his head up. <laughs> I, you know, he tried to keep his head up, but I don't give a fuck because your ancestors did my ancestors dirty. I don't give a fuck about you. You understand? And so, you know, I'm just saying, you know, he tried to keep his head up, but I know behind the scenes, that motherfucker weeping like a motherfucker. Oh, <laughs> these motherfuckers, they just did me wrong. You know what I'm saying? And so, family. Listen here, let's get this shit together. Let's let's tighten up. Let's tighten up out here. You can see the, these these vultures is coming from all directions. Prepare yourself. Put that armor on. Put it on. Get that armor on. And like I say, when you say what you say, make sure you back your shit up. Back it up, nigga. Get, you know, like they back when I was, make sure you get about Four, five references, and don't get no weak motherfuckers. Get top references. I don't fuck with weak motherfuckers. If I do, it's the last reference, the fifth one. I don't even know, and I don't even do it. I could get five top references. God damn it, if I, you know what I'm saying? And I, and what I, what I, what I uh, consider weak is, you know, it's still, uh, uh, he just ain't as good as the the masters, but he right there, he right up under him. You see what I'm saying? And so. You can't be out here slipping with your tongue. If you're going to say some shit out of your mouth, you better be prepared to back that shit up. That's all I'm going to tell you, straight up. This is the General Sarah Susan said he said, hey, arm yourself with knowledge. Don't you go no damn where me. Get your ass back on this next video because I got a hard one. You understand? I'm about to get back. I'm about to get right back on them Hebrew Israelite niggas and these you know, so-called Jews, I'm going to get on their ass because I'm going to bring up some very uh, 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 critical points that's going to break the back of a whole lot of this bullshit that they talking out there. This is the General Sarah Soon said, he's saying, hey, arm yourself with knowledge, bang on that wicked ass beat daily, liberation through African education and confrontation, black power, the 12 deadly diseases of niggerdom this Sunday, uh, October 16th, starting at 2.30. The link is right there in the video description. Hit that link and begin to think. Black power.